Colonists in Virginia were among the first to breed the quarter horse from English thoroughbreds, an assorted native breeds descended from horses left in North America by Spanish explorers. They ended up with a versatile and fast horse that could run the quarter mile faster than any other breed, with speeds up to 55 miles per hour. What I really like about the quarter horse is, you know, they're, they're not a very large animal. Typically, they're, they're 16 hands, or, or, or there's some that are, that are taller, but they're 16 hands or shorter. Um, but they've got a, a lot of muscle tone. Um, and again, they're, they're not always running on eight cylinders. And when you call for them um, and, and need that extra energy, you have it. You know, you have that extra, that, um, that integrity. They're not going to hold back on you. When you need, a, and there's many times when, you know, when you're in the show pen showing and, and you know, the, 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 it's hot outside and the judges are taking extra long to judge a class. You're going to call on that horse to, hey, come on, um, you know, Rex need to go a little farther, a little bit more, and they'll, they'll, they'll perform for you. They're honest. They're honest that way. There are more than 41,000 horse operations in Virginia and more than 215,000 animals. Quarter horses are the top breed in Virginia, and there are dozens of horse shows and racing competitions in the Old Dominion each year at sites like Meadow Event Park. Speed is just one attribute that has led them to being the world's most popular breed. Horse owners, especially beginners, also value the ability of quarter horses to do a little bit of everything well. I look for probably an older horse, um, a horse with some age on it. Um, quarter horses are versatile, so if they want to to do trail riding, they can. If they want to go into the show pen, a lot of times you can take them into the show pen. So I would just something with a little bit of age on it really. Would, would really be safer for someone who's just starting out because they're very forgiven, but they are big animals and you do have to, to learn how to be around them without getting yourself in trouble. No matter what the breed, raising horses is an expensive hobby or lifestyle. It's a serious commitment that comes with its own special rewards. That's why many quarter horse owners keep their animals for decades, so they can do different things with them at different stages in their lives. There's a certain um, relationship that you have with each one of them, and you see them go from a really young horse, progress and, and train them, um, get them into the show pen, um, and, and show them and market it, market them. It is it is um, it is extremely rewarding. Um, it's almost like taking a with no with no downplay on on um, on you know raising child. We our wife and I have had children ourselves, but it it. Um, it's, it's like raising a child and watching them go out the door and get married and have children of their own and it's very rewarding, but with horses it just happens sooner. Biggest thing is, you know, if you, you're going to buy a horse, um, do something with them. Don't just buy them and put them in the barn, that's the worst thing you can do. Quarter horses can be used for racing, showing, and all types of rodeo events, but many owners prefer them for a ride in the country. They are great trail horses. Um, the fact that they're short a lot of times a smaller horse is better on a trail unless you want to get all the cobwebs. Um, but they're quiet and they like to learn new things. I mean, they're very curious about, I think for the most part, the ones that I've had could do both. And they really enjoyed the trail riding. You know, they weren't trained to do it, but they enjoyed doing it. So I, I think if you were looking for a trail horse, I, I would think that would be a good choice. Quarter horses are a good choice for all riders, beginner to expert. They can handle almost every type of riding and have the strength and patience to make riding enjoyable. You can learn more at the Virginia Quarter Horse Association website. In Hanover County, Virginia, I'm Dave Miller.